Bill Murray is one of the most beloved actors of our generation, having starred in some of the most iconic, era-defining films of the past few decades. However, not everyone is a fan of the aged star. In fact, there are a number of actors who have refused the opportunity to work with him. So today, let's take a look at some of the most famous actors who refused to be in a Bill Murray movie. Starting off with Eddie Murphy. Ghostbusters was the largest cinematic ascent for the early stars of Saturday Night Live, who were once named not ready for primetime players, leading to the creation of the sci-fi comedy blockbuster of the 80s. For the role of Winston Zeddemore, the fourth Ghostbuster, Ernie Hudson, a character actor for SNL, earned himself the part after another superstar passed on the project. That actor was none other than the Beverly Hills cop, Eddie Murphy himself. Turns out that Murphy had received the scripts for both BHC and Ghostbusters around the same time and decided to pursue the iconic lead role that made him a star, landing at the top of the 1984 box office charts. However, he wished that he could have appeared in both films. Next up, we have Macaulay Culkin. After having appeared in critically acclaimed comedies for several decades, Murray decided to delve into some independent film work in the late 90s earning himself some of the greatest praise of his career. The film also featured teen actor Jason Schwartzman's debut screen performance in the role of Max, a role that almost went to another young actor who had a lot more on-screen experience and box office potential to his name, Macaulay Culkin. The actor revealed in a later interview that although he had received the script for the film, he had been in his self-imposed Hollywood retirement back then and decided to pass on the project. Following up, there's Jack Nicholson. Nicholson was one of Hollywood's most versatile and charismatic actors in the 70s and 80s, often portraying charming rebels and likable villains. He's won three Academy Awards for his roles and has earned much praise for each of them, such as the time when he played the Batman arch-villain Joker with so much passion and star power that he earned more for the role than even the lead star, Michael Keaton himself. Moving into the late 90s, the aging star adjusted his acting choices to play a string of elderly grumps in films like As Good As It Gets, About Schmidt, and How Do You Know. As such, he was offered the title role in the 2014 film Saint Vincent. However, Nicholson turned it down, as he hasn't appeared in a single film since 2010, and is pretty much retired. As a result, the big role was eventually passed on to Bill Murray. Moving on, we have Tandy Newton. The English actress has enjoyed quite a successful high-profile career, appearing in critically acclaimed series such as Westworld, as well as Academy Award-winning films such as Crash, Mission Impossible, and Interview with the Vampire. Back in 2000, she managed to secure what would have been the biggest film role of her her career, portraying one of the lead trio in Sony's adaptation of the Charlie's Angels TV show. However, Newton experienced a lot of abuse in the film industry, especially for the adaptation. Reportedly, the director had wanted to focus more on her sex appeal than her ability to act, and even though she voiced her concerns to Sony execs, they turned her down and took the director's side. Worst of all, she was also given instructions on how to act like a convincing black character as well, making her decision to leave the project all the more unsurprising. All we can say is Jesus Christ. And finally, there's James Gray. Gray almost landed a role in Wes Anderson's The Life Aquatic, despite not even being much of an actor in the first place. He's a writer and director, best known for his works such as Ad Astra and We Own the Night, with his acting roles limited to a small part in a 1997 film, Love Jones. And even then, his scenes were cut from the final product. However, Anderson desperately wanted his fellow filmmaker to make a brief cameo in this upcoming project 
promising him a fun few weeks of filming in Rome. Gray eventually gave in and decided to sign on for the role of Walidarski, the documentary film score composer. But once he received the shooting schedule, which revealed that he'd actually have to spend five months in Italy, not a couple of weeks like he'd been promised, he promptly took his leave. Can't really blame him, to be honest. There's a limit to how much Italy any person can tolerate. On the other hand, Murray has also had quite the controversial career. He's no stranger to controversies and has recently been making headlines for cases of misconduct over the course of his career. Murray has also developed a reputation for apparently being very difficult to work with, with several big name stars such as Gina Davis, Lucy Liu, and Richard Dreyfus sharing their unpleasant experiences working with the A-list star in the past. So let's take a look at what some of these stars have had to say about Murray, shall we? First up, we have Chevy Chase. Murray and Chase had reportedly gotten into a physical fight after the latter had made his return to SNL for a guest host gig back in 1978. The event horrified fellow cast members Jane Curtin and Lorraine Newman, who recalled the incident during their appearance on Watch What Happens Live in 2021 as being painful and awful. Murray himself talked about the altercation back in 2012 during an interview with Empire, calling it a real Hollywood fight where both stars yelled at each other to not get hit in the face. According to the aged star, the reason why they had been fighting in the first place was that he'd felt as if Chase had abandoned his fellow performers on SNL. However, he finished up by saying that the two have since cleared the air and are friends once again. Next up, there's Gina Davis. In Dying of Politeness, Davis's recent memoir, she talks about how Murray had allegedly forced her to lie on a bed while he used a massage device called the Thumper on her while the duo was working together on the 90s film Quick Change. Davis wrote that even though she'd refused multiple times, Murray wouldn't stop his advances. The Oscar winner also claimed that the aged star had yelled at her in front of over 300 people on set, which apparently is also a tactic that she claims he would use to impose his authority. Davis also talks about how Murray had made her feel uncomfortable during the film's promotional tour during their appearance together on The Arsenio Hall Show, where Murray can clearly be seen repeatedly pulling down the strap of her dress. However, the star has yet to comment on the allegations. Moving on, we have Seth Green. Green had an unpleasant encounter with the star during his first appearance on SNL when he was only nine years old, alleging that Murray had made a big fuss about the young star for sitting on the arm of his chair. According to Green, he was sitting on the arm of a couch when Murray had walked over and told him to get off his couch, despite there being more than enough room for the aged star to sit on. After Green refused to get up, Murray allegedly picked him up by his ankles, carried him over to a trash can, and then threw him in, all the while saying, the trash goes in the trash can. Green was so horrified by the ordeal that he ran away crying, covered in trash from the bin, and hid under the table in his dressing room. As of right now, Murray has addressed none of Green's allegations, which appears to be a common occurrence with him and his controversies. Following up is Lucy Liu. The Charlie's Angel star claimed that Murray had allegedly made several inexcusable and unacceptable comments to her after one of their scenes had been reworked without his knowledge during rehearsals for the 2000 action comedy. According to reports, Murray told Liu that she couldn't act, to which the star responded by throwing punches at him, which she later admitted to, saying that she had stood up for herself and didn't regret it. Later on in 2021, during an interview with Deadline, Lou explained that she no longer has anything against the star, even revealing that they'd had a nice reunion at an SNL reunion. Murray also shared his version of events back in 2009, saying that it didn't matter how close anybody was with him. He'd still chew them out for acting unprofessionally. And finally, we 
we have Rob Schneider. According to The Start, Murray had absolutely hated the SNL cast after he'd returned to the show to host back in 1993. Schneider went on to say that the comedian had a particular distaste for fellow cast members Adam Sandler and Chris Farley, explaining that Murray especially hated Sandler, most likely as his brand of comedy just wasn't his groove. He also believed that the reason why Murray disliked Farley was due to his similarities with one of Murray's old friends and SNL co-star John Belushi, both of whom had died because of drug overdoses at the age of 33. That's a wrap for this video. What are your opinions on Bill Murray? And do you know of any other controversies that he's been involved in? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.